Have you ever heard the saying or seen the meme that defines what a veteran is? A veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, reserves, or National Guard, is someone who at one point in their life wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America in the amount of up to and including their life. My name is Liana Lynch, and I am the coordinator of veterans and military programs here at Framingham State. My great grandfather was an army medic during World War II, which I only learned after I enlisted myself. I spent 16 and a half years in the army. It was followed by my two younger brothers who spent six and 15 years in the army themselves. Regardless of your branch of service, your military occupation, your race, ethnicity, gender, your religion, sexual orientation, or political affiliation, whether you serve two years or you serve 30, to my brothers and sisters in arms, we celebrate this day with you, for you, and in honor of not only your service to our great nation, but to the sacrifices which you had to make in order to do so. And now here are a few more special messages for you. I would like to start by thanking Lena Lynch for all she does for our veterans and for organizing this virtual celebration. Normally, we would be together on campus and I would be able to thank you for your service in person. I certainly look forward to doing so next November, but this year, a video is all that we can do. There is no question that our nation is going through a very difficult time. The pandemic, political partisanship and division, racial disparities and inequities would make us think that there is no hope. Our nation has lived through very difficult times before and has emerged stronger and better from those crises. This will be the case again. There is an American spirit that will bring us back together. And that spirit is what you embody, your willingness to serve our country, to put your life on the line for our ideals is what will bring us to a better future. On a different topic, Edward Brodney was a Boston artist who was deployed to the South Pacific during World War II. There he developed a large body of paintings, drawings, sketches of the war. Recently, his family donated to the university a very large collection of his works. Our plan is to display a few on a rotating basis at the Veterans Center. So every few months, you will be able to, you will be able to see new works when you visit the center. Hello, veterans, and welcome home. My name is Anne Deschamps. As a mother of an Army veteran who served in Iraq nine years ago, I want to thank all branches of the military for the sacrifices you have made. Your courage, sacrifice, and dedication to our country has made this country and the world a better place. You put our needs before your own so that we might continue to have our independence. Your service blessed us with our freedoms. On this day and every day, I honor each and every one of you with gratitude and respect. Thank you to all of our veterans and service members. I appreciate your sacrifice for the safety and freedom for myself and all Americans. Hi, my name is Dr. Constanza Cabello. I go by Connie for short. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the Vice President for Diversity, Inclusion, and Community Engagement at Framingham State University. I just wanted to record a quick video this Veterans Day to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all those in our community who are veterans, uh, who are active duty, and those who are connected to the military in some form or fashion. I'm so grateful for your sacrifices uh, that you made for our country and for all of us. And please know that this Veterans Day, I am thinking of you and thanking you all for your service um, in the past, in the future, and in the present. Thank you for this opportunity to show you my respect and appreciation for the sacrifices you have made to protect our country. I come from a long line of Marines and although I did not join myself, I am definitely part of a military family. On Veterans Day and throughout the year, I thank you for your service and sacrifices. I am forever grateful. Those of us who have not served will never fully understand the sacrifices you have made both in times of peace and war. We will never fully understand what you were required to do or how you were able to do it. We'll never fully understand the depths of your scars or the bonds you have with your military family. We love you, we recognize your humanity, and we send you our appreciation 
and love that is gentle, patient, and healing. I am thankful you have chosen FSU to further your education and appreciate the background you bring to our classroom and community. Thanks to all of the branches of service, including our National Guard, it is with gratitude and honor and respect and love that I am appreciative of you on Veterans Day. We owe you so much. Good morning and happy Veterans Day. I'm Rachel Trant, Associate Vice President of Finance and Business Services here at Framingham State University. I come from a family of veterans. Uh, my father was a World War II veteran, my brother is a veteran, my stepson is a veteran, and I have a wide variety of uncles and cousins, all of whom are also veterans. Uh, for many years, I was also married to a Vietnam veteran. I understand firsthand uh, the sacrifice that many of our veterans have made while serving. Uh, whether it ranged from time away from the family to post-traumatic stress syndrome to chronic stomach issues related to the horrendous food quality in a prisoner of war camp during World War II. Uh, seldom were these sacrifices, frankly, ever mentioned in our household, but every once in a while they would come up in conversation, usually with another veteran. I want to be sure to thank all of you from all branches of the service, um, whether it's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, Space Force, um, and whether you were drafted or volunteered, male or female, child or parent, whether you served domestically or overseas, um, all of you have made a difference in all of our lives by keeping us safe. I also want to be sure to mention all of the families of the veterans, um, and they have sacrificed so much while their loved one has actually served. And to the number of veterans and veteran family members that I work with every day in either the business office or the student accounts office, to these colleagues, I want to send a very special thank you. You're an amazing group of people, and it's an honor to work with you day in and day out. Uh, there are many people that have actually spoken about our veterans and their service. Um, there's one quote from Ronald Reagan that I find particularly fitting, and I'd like to close with his words. And so I'll quote, veterans know better, better than anyone the price of freedom, for they have suffered the scars of war. We can, do, we can offer them no better tribute than to protect them what they have won for us, end quote. Thank you, veterans, and have a wonderful Veterans Day. Be well and stay safe. Thank you, military veterans, for all that you have done for our country, for your sacrifice, for your bravery. I am so honored that all of you have served our country well. My name is Patty Birch, and I am the Director of Inclusive Excellence Initiatives at Framingham State University in the Center for Inclusive Excellence. I come from a family of military veterans, and I am so proud of all of you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shelley Wattig. I'm a professor in chemistry and food science. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of our service members our veteran, active, retired, National Guard, please know that we are so grateful. I am so grateful for all the sacrifices that you and your family have made to provide us with things in our country that we would not have otherwise, particularly our freedom and other amenities. And I'm so grateful for everything that you have done. I always like to acknowledge our veterans on Veterans Day in my classes. And this year it will be through Zoom, but I would still do it. And please know how your service and work does not go unnoticed. And I hope that you feel like you have a special place in all of our uh, hearts and minds on Framingham State's campus. Hello, happy Veterans Day to all veterans past and present. On this day, I would like to thank you for your service and the sacrifices you have made for our freedom and safety. Veterans have a special place in my heart. My dad is a Vietnam vet and he is a retiree from the Rhode Island National Guard. My dad is a humble man and shies away when I express my gratitude for his service. 
So please accept my gratitude for your service, sacrifices, and everything you do. You deserve all the respect and admiration for your bravery. To all the members of the FSU community who have served our country, thank you. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your service. And a special thank you to your families as well. Happy Veterans Day. Hi there, my name is Nicole Mason from the Undergraduate Admissions Office, and I just want to take a quick moment to really say thank you to all of our service members and our veterans for not only the hard work that you put into your everyday jobs, but the huge, huge sacrifice that you have made time and time again to serve our country and allow us these wonderful opportunities that we have here in America. So thank you so much. On behalf of not only myself, but the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, I do want to thank you all so much for your, your time and your sacrifice and your service. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Glenn Cochran, Associate Dean of Students for Student Life. In recognition of Veterans Day, I would like to share how much I appreciate all of the veterans who have served our country. I would like to especially thank veterans who are students, faculty, staff, and alumni of Framingham State. We truly value the skills, experiences, and perspectives you bring to this learning community. I would also like to give a special shout out to staff members who, are, who run our Veteran Services Office and Veteran Center. I feel so fortunate to have the opportunity to work with you and to have gotten to know so many of you over time. To all of our veterans, happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, veterans. Thank you. Thanks so much. God bless you. Thanks for your service and for all you mean to our country. Thank you and happy Veterans Day.